With pesticide applications, good operating condition of the application equipment is essential. Spray nozzles are a critical component of most pesticide application equipment. In applications in orchards and vineyards that use power blast sprayers, the most common type of nozzle used is the hollow cone two-piece nozzle. The nozzle consists of a disc and core. These are among the smallest parts of the application equipment. Nozzles are difficult to handle, especially with chemical resistant gloves. They could easily get plugged by debris in the water or improperly mixed pesticides. Cleaning nozzles poses a potential risk of pesticide exposure to the pesticide handlers. The nozzle breaks the liquid stream into small droplets and forms the spray pattern. The orifice disc regulates the volume of liquid at a given pressure. The disc core, or swirl plate, forms the pattern of the spray by swirling the liquid, forming the shape of a hollow cone. The hollow cone spray pattern is preferred when canopy and foliage penetration and coverage are critical, such as an orchard tree or vine canopy. Another option is the hollow cone one-piece nozzle. The function of one-piece nozzles is the same as the two-piece, however, nozzle design is different. The orifice is integrated into the nozzle body. The spray tip is made from the same materials used to manufacture the orifice discs and disc cores. The spray body is color-coded to aid in distinguishing spray tip size. Materials include brass, stainless steel, and ceramic. The code imprinted on the tip indicates the type of material and will vary by tip manufacturer. With T-Jet, SS stands for stainless steel, TX-4 equals brass, and VK-4 equals ceramic. Operating pressure ranges from 30 to 300 PSI. Another option is the air induction hollow cone spray tip. The nozzle is typically made only from ceramic. As with the hollow cone spray tip, the air induction spray tip is also color coded to readily identify tip or orifice size. The air induction spray nozzle produces larger droplets as compared with the standard cone spray tip. The larger droplet size is achieved by means of a Venturi air aspirator. Air is encapsulated in the droplet, making the droplet larger or full of air bubbles. The larger droplet, even at high pressures, reduces the potential for drift under adverse weather conditions while also improving canopy penetration. Adverse conditions include wind, resulting in physical drift, and high temperature, especially in association with low relative humidity resulting in droplet evaporation, thereby reducing droplet size. Something to keep in mind, large droplets are prone to bouncing off the leaves, especially with high fan speeds. The traditional two-piece hollow cone spray nozzle has been used for decades. Although proven, their use can present problems. Some factors include, they are difficult to handle and may present a high risk of pesticide exposure from residue. They can easily plug, especially when using wettable powders, dry flowable, or water-soluble packets. Again, this may pose a high risk of exposure when unplugging or replacing. Difficulty in reading the size of the orifice disc and core or swirl plate. Many combinations of orifice disc and core increase the likelihood of incorrect spray output and spray pattern. Single body spray tips have many advantages. They are much easier to handle. Because of the color coding, it is much easier to identify the orifice size. A pre-orifice feature makes unplugging much easier. This, along with the ease of handling due to the larger size, resulting in less of a potential for exposure to pesticide residues. One-piece hollow cone air induction nozzles have the same advantages as the single body spray tips. They're easy to handle, they're readily recognizable, and they are easier to clean. Air induction nozzles have advantages over traditional spray tips and even single body spray tips. Increased pressure range allows for better coverage and canopy penetration. There is an increased application efficiency and product efficacy. It reduces the number of applications and controls effectiveness, thereby reducing pesticide use and the potential risk of human exposure, particularly to bystanders.
It reduces the potential for environmental pollution and human exposure by reducing the potential for physical drift, especially during adverse weather conditions. As with any nozzle, they can still become plugged. We hope you have a better grasp of how different nozzles work and when it is appropriate to use each nozzle. Some additional information to help you include droplet size and nozzle pricing. Droplet size is determined by the size of the orifice and operating pressure. This topic is included in a future video. Nozzle prices vary by manufacturer and by supplier. Also, the materials of the components and type of spray tip is a personal decision of the applicator. While traditional or old types of nozzles have a long history of use, they still pose significant problems due to misuse. This video introduced you to new nozzle technology. The single body hollow cone spray tip and the air induction hollow cone spray tip. With applications using air blast sprayers, the newer technology can reduce the potential for drift, for human exposure, and ecological harm while increasing product efficacy. The tree fruit industry is continuously changing, with newer technologies becoming available. Furthermore, growers are modernizing their operations with new varieties and orchard systems. More attention must be given to how pesticides are used and applied. As an industry, we must stop being a traditional grower, start thinking about more efficient production, be more conscious of environmental concerns, and more attentive to safe pesticide use. This video is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Agriculture, Washington State University, and the Washington Farm Bureau.